the finance minister's ministry's initiative to limit the size of cash transactions in Russia. Any purchase of 300,000 rubles, that's about $10,000, would have to be made through either credit cards or bank wires. About a year ago, the ministry was pushing for a 600,000 ruble cap. Prime Times, Marina Nikosarev tells us what's behind this idea. So, Marina, we've been hearing so much about the fight against corruption and the fight against capital flight and all of that. So, is this initiative part of that effort? And what's the main idea behind it? Absolutely. Hi, guys. And you're absolutely right, Natasha. This is exactly what they're trying to achieve. And they also want to close down Russia's gray economy, as they put it. Now, according to global financial integrity, Russia's shadow market currently accounts for 46% of GDP. And of course, that's why they want all salaries and all large purchases to be cashless. And they say that this will minimize expenses. It will make the money flow more transparent. Now, Actually, and also enhance the fiscal performance of the country. And that's why they think that this 300,000 ruble limit will achieve just that. And they hope that it will be enforced by 2015. And as you said, this initiative came up about last year and they wanted to limit it to 600,000 rubles. So now they want to cut that in half as well. Now, this might be something new for Russia, but it's not something new around the world because, for example, in Italy, there is a limit like that. And that is 1,000 euros in Greece as well. It's at 1,500 euros. And in fact, Russia's Gaidar Institute even went further and said that they believe that it should be lower to 100,000 rubles. And they claim that this will bring 2.5 trillion rubles to banks when people start spending money.